टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इंस्ट्रूमेंट दैट इज पोलैरिस्कोप विच इज वेरी यूजफुल फॉर द पेट एंड प्रीफॉर्म इंडस्ट्रीज सो द पोलैरिस्कोप वी विल लुक टुडे इज मेनली फॉर दिस काइंड ऑफ इंडस्ट्री द पेट शीट्स पेट बॉटल्स एंड द प्रीफॉर्म्स सो द पर्पज ऑफ अ पोलैरिस्कोप इज टू सी द रेजिडुअल स्ट्रेस इन द सैम्पल विच वी कैन नॉट सी थ्रू अवर नेकेड आईज so if i talk about a standardized thing in this so it follows the astm d4093 standard which says for a polariscope to measure the residual stress in the sample so the analysis we will be getting is visual and uh, if i talk about the principle it works on bayer fringens principle which says for double refraction when i will switch on the two light source so this is the area from where the light will glow and the sample will be placed here so this if the stress is there in the sample so it will show in the form of colors and it will split in two different rays and it will show you different different colors so each color depicts a certain level of stress in the sample the lighter depicts less stress and the darker depicts more stress so this is how we will be analyzing the sample so i will be taking an optimum and non optimum sample so right now the samples i have i don't know that which sample after the manufacturing stage uh, is a good sample or a bad but we can see through this polariscope so these two sample i will be checking so one if i see this sample through naked eyes i can see that uh, there is no stress in the sample it is a perfect looking but how it will look in the polariscope will show you the stress level in the sample or how much optimum it is so this is one now i will be taking this small preform and i will check that how optimum this sample is in the 90 degree orientation and 45 degree orientation so now we will be discussing about the labeling of the machine so starting with this panel so we have two light sources in this first is this cfl light source the second is sodium lamp light so when we will switch on these two light source we will get the polarized light a monochromatic light which will not disperse here and there and will come in a straight line and we will be able to get the accurate stress analysis other things here this area is known as polarizer where we place the sample we also have a template at 90 degree and 45 degree orientation then from the area from which is a viewing glass from where we used to see the residual stress in the sample so this is the part this is known as analyzer so now we will be observing the sample at uh, two angles 90 degree orientation and 45 degree orientation so this is the analysis at 90 degree orientation and we will shift it to 45 and we will be able to see that this is uh, one of the optimum sample so you will be looking at the colors the colors will appear on the sample to show that the stress is there in the sample because this has been folded so you will be looking at the stress and the colors on the side walls so how uniformly the stress is distributed so that matters a lot in the uh, process so in this sample we can see that stress is distributed very properly if the blue line is coming on this side on this side so it is also coming on this side if it is coming on this corner portion so it is also coming here so this is how an optimum sample looks like now let me show you that how a non optimum sample looks like so this thing we will not be able to see through our naked eyes this this sample so now if i place it here at 90 degree orientation and if i'll be placing it here now so here we can see on this particular side you can see that the stress has distributed a lot on this surface so this was not seen in this big preform so this is how a non optimum sample looks like it means there is a lot of stress on this particular surface so during the manufacturing process there is some sort of defect in the sample so that we the process we have to rewind again and whatever the issue is either it is because of thermal excessive thermal energy we have given or it is whatever the process is so that we have to check so the solution is something that 
the person who is doing the process they knows so it is very important to understand that which is the part uh, which is having an issue so that you will be able to analyze through this particular instrument so this is how you can analyze the defect in pet sheets also or any kind of pet preforms so thank you so much